SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. So I know my kids were happy not to have to go to school after uh, um, you know, seeing that this morning. But um, just getting back uh, Saturday night, we got back Saturday from our um, Cancun trip. It was a good trip. Um, on, on a lot of levels and some other levels, um, you know, we learned a little bit about ourselves, which is always positive. So, um, you know, we played NC State, who was ranked, I think, 13th in the country. It was a great battle, it was back and forth. I mean, really could have gone any way. I loved our team's fight. We learned, like I said, we learned a lot about, um, you know, maybe where we need to improve and certainly uh, appreciated that competition. And now, obviously, facing Virginia and the ACC challenge coming up on uh, Wednesday. So I'll take questions. Hi, Susie. Uh, so obviously looking to the ACC Big Ten Challenge, we see the guys side of it when they get ramped up. And But for you guys, what does it mean to, to, to play in an atmosphere like this, this point of the season? You said you're learning more about yourselves on a stage like that. Well, we've always really appreciated that game. I think um, it's it's a good rivalry from a recruiting standpoint. I think the ACC always talks about the Big Ten differently, um, you know, maybe not always a positive light. So I think it's an opportunity for our Big Ten teams to kind of showcase the skill and the talent that we have here in our league. So it's important from that level, and then uh, we want to win it. I mean, I think there's a lot of pride that goes with winning one of those challenges. And, um, you know, we're certainly going to do everything we can to um, you know, went, went against Virginia and uh, get that dub for the, the Big Ten. With so much youth contributing for your team, what have you learned about them? Um, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of interesting. I think I heard Dan kind of talk a little bit about his true freshman, but it, it's they don't always know what they don't know, and that can be a really positive thing. Um, I've been really impressed with, obviously, Nia Cloud and starting at the point that in and of itself at a BCS level, just taking the reins. I mean, Taryn did that. That's not an easy thing to do for anybody, let alone a true freshman. But I think she's really done a nice job for us, um, running the offense, attacking, um, playing downhill. Um, I really like Tori Osmond, where she's at right now. Um, you know, she came off the bench uh, for us against Kennesaw State, and she's kind of battled some injuries, so it's nice to kind of see her get into a rhythm. I mean, she's a big guard. She can really do a lot of things. We're excited about her growth. And then the kid that got on the court for the first time in like 16 months was Kayla. Kayla Bell is from right down the road in uh, Ithaca. She blew her knee out going into her senior year. And this fall she had some kind of issues just cleaning that up. So those are our three freshmen. And I mean, she was like a, you know, a kid on Christmas, to be honest. <laughs> I think she had like two fouls in two seconds. And, uh, but she did really well. I mean, she's super eager and she's know very excited to get back on the floor so I, I was just thrilled for her that she got an opportunity just to get back out there and run around she hasn't even really practiced much with us just because of her knee issues but so our three freshmen have contributed quite a bit quite a bit and we're going to need them to continue to do that. Susie obviously you were down there all business but how much fun was it to go down there and how great of an experience was it for you? Yeah the sunshine was great that's <laughs> for sure um, so home of their life down there. I think our kids had a really good good time. I mean, I think those, you know, a lot of teams do that, um, you know, this time of year. I think there's quite a few tournaments um, outside the U.S. for a reason. They actually had, it was interesting, and I didn't, it's the first time I remember this, but they had a men's tournament going on at the same time they had um, two women's tournaments going on. So there was three tournaments kind of like staggered through. Um, some teams played three games, some played two. Um, so that was that was unique and that was different. So there was a little bit of business side to that and a lot of a lot of it, you know young young kids running around that resort. That's for sure. But I think it's important to just have a little bit of fun. As you know, basketball to me, two semesters it's a real grind on these kids mentally and physically. So just being able to enjoy and build some chemistry this early was fun. Can you um, you kind of spoke on this a little already, but can you kind of uh, speak on? Nia and how she's been uh, dealing and adjusting with the pressure of being 
relied on so heavily when she's been playing 30 plus minutes? Yeah, well, um, you know, I mean, she's just, she's just a kid that has a lot of poise and, and calmness and presence to her. I mean, she's played in high level games. She played for a great high school program and AAU program as well, but certainly her high school team and played the Dixon National Championship game. Um, you know, they're, they're a very, very, very good program. So she's, she's felt the heat before. Um, what I love about her is she's the same. I mean, she can hit the, you know, score the first bucket of the game and hit the game winner and you wouldn't even know. You know, she's just got that even keel about her. So it's nice to have her at the helm, certainly. And, um, you know, she has to improve on some things and we've been, you know, really working with her on just a couple of those things and I think she's really eager to learn that side too. Susie, how do you, it's a pretty big month for you in trying to find your team. I guess you have seven games before you open in the Big Ten. You, you can't afford to call them preseason games because you need every win, but are you still trying to find your team and find the mix and find the chemistry before you play the bigger games in, in January? Yeah, I'm just trying to get my team healthy too. I mean, we've got a lot of injuries and, um, you know, didn't come away from, um, I mean, that trip to Cancun was fun, but we came away with some injuries and some, some tough ones. So, you know, we're just going to have to kind of recoup a little bit um, and figure out exactly what we can do and how we need to do it. You know, I'm sort of over the injury thing here, but it just seems to keep creeping up. But um, the good thing is nobody's out completely, but the bad thing is there's going to be people out for a short period of time and, um, you know, kind of day to day right now, seeing where we're at. That. So I want to I want to answer your question. It's really hard for me because so many kids are, you know, Sid didn't play, Dreek didn't play on Friday. You know, Shea kind of got banged up, Claire kind of got banged up. We just got Kayla back, I and mean, we just got people coming and going. You know, it's it's like an airport. You know, one flight comes in, the next one goes out. You know, it's uh, it's bizarre a little bit, but we're you know we got to figure out and rely on some kids right now that maybe we haven't had to you know to this point, which is a positive thing I think. What are the new injuries from Cancun? Um, well, Shay kind of tweaked her knee a little bit, so that's sort of an issue. Um, and Sid rolled her ankle. Um, Claire sprained her knee, kind of has a little, you know, I don't know if it's a tear. It's like a small little tear in her, in her meniscus or something like that. But it's, it's, she'll play. But obviously she's banged up. And then Dreek has just been battling. She has a couple of meniscus tears, and she's just trying to play through that. So. You know, playing back-to-back -back days for her was difficult, um, you know, on her. So we've had the injury bug a little bit here, but not got one. We're going to keep moving forward. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks.